Hi, I'm going to introduce a book to you today by John Grisham. The book is called The Chamber. John Grisham is one of America's most celebrated authors. He has written many, many books, including a very popular book called The Firm and also The Pelican Brief. Those are just two of many books that he has written, and he is actually one of the few Galaxy British Book Award winners and he is celebrated in libraries with rooms dedicated to him and schools alike. He attended Mississippi State University and he graduated and then went on to the University of Mississippi to get his law degree. He practiced law for quite some time and actually sat on the House of Representatives in Mississippi before he became a writer. He writes a literary genre called the legal thrillers. Um, most of it, his books deal with different aspects of the law and in this particular book he is dealing with a man who is an attorney and is just beginning his career. He hears about a case of a gentleman who is on death row sentenced to the gas chamber because he was involved in a fatal bombing that occurred in 1967 or so it's said that he was involved in this fatal bombing. Um, the man that is on death row is named Sam K. Hall, and he has been proven to be a member of the Ku Klux Klan. And when this man, who is actually named Adam, finds out that this gentleman is on death row, he searches into it a bit more, and eventually he finds out that this is his grandfather. He goes to work for him and decides to try to help his grandfather avoid being killed on death row because he feels that he's the only link left to their family. Um, throughout the book, it is actually thought that this man is guilty of committing this crime. Um, but then you find out later on in the book that he actually did not commit the crime. There's different subjects that are brought up that can be discussed after reading this book, such as, is it right to commit somebody to the death penalty? And just because this man is racist, does that mean he deserves to die even if he did not actually commit this crime? Um, the man is made to sound seem like a protagonist in the story. He's definitely racist and he has committed some acts in his life that most people would frown upon. But the question comes up is, does he deserve to die? Um, the book begins talking about the act that was actually committed, where the building, which contained some members of the Jewish faith, was blown up. And people actually died in this. Um, I'm going to read the first couple of sentences to this book so that you can see the motivation to continue reading this story. Chapter 1 begins with, The decision to bomb the office of the radical Jew lawyer was reached with relative ease. Only three people were involved in the process. The first was the man with the money. The, the second was a local operative who knew the territory. And the third was a young patriot and zealot with a talent for explosive and an astonishing knack for disappearing without a trail. Just reading the first couple of sentences of this book, causes me to want to continue to read it. Um, the book is on the bestseller list and people continue to read it to this day. It typically would be considered an adult novel, um, although there could be some case made for younger folks reading it. It's definitely not something I would suggest to anybody who's under the age of 18 just because of the graphic content that the book does display. Um, there's a lot of detail in the story, such as media involvement in a case that in this story was high profile. Um, the amount of time that the book goes into, it comes down to the very last detail to only minutes before this man was supposed to be executed. I'm not going to tell you what happens in the book. If you want to find out, you can go ahead and read it for yourself. I do highly recommend it. Thank you very much.